Is this the sweetest power-up for the Raspberry Pi? Let's find out. This is the Pi Sugar 3 Plus. It's a UPS battery pack for the Raspberry Pi. It's super simple to set up, unpack the board, attach it to a Raspberry Pi and install the driver software and you're done. Pi Sugar have created this really nice web UI to access the battery's configuration. You can see the battery power and you can also set up things like wake up on a schedule or set up the custom button function to your preferences. To make this work with the active cooler on the Raspberry Pi 5 you do have to modify these little standoffs a little bit. You also need to make sure that these pogo pins make a really good connection particularly for the I2C to work. And then you simply screw it on underneath the Raspberry Pi. The battery attaches with this really satisfactory magnetic connection and the kit comes in this really cute little box with an information card. So what kind of projects would this be useful for? Well clearly anything that requires a Raspberry Pi to be portable, so robotics projects or what I've got in mind here is a portable AI. If you have a hat on the top and the battery on the bottom it does make for quite a chunky assembly but we can work around that. I'm going to install Olama and DeepSeek R1. I did originally run this on a Raspberry Pi that only had 2 gig of RAM uh, and I've swapped it out for one that's got 16 gigs because the R1 does take up quite a bit of RAM. I don't think DeepSeek is going to win any awards for comedy. That was a good test to make sure that Olama is working properly. So what I'm thinking is some kind of Walkman-like device. I'm a kid from the 80s, so I always like to go with the retro theme. So you can see here, if I just remove some of these items from the model, we have a Raspberry Pi. I've taken all the measurements from the Raspberry Pi with my calipers. So this is roughly based on the Walkman from the 1980s. I had one of these back in the day with the orange earmuffs. My parents were very kind and they bought me one of these for my birthday. And it had two headphone sockets, which you don't see very often uh, on the subsequent models of the Walkman. So this is roughly based on that original design. So this is my prototype design. Ignore the two-tone, I ran out of filament halfway through the print. You can see exactly where I ran out of filament. You can see there that the Raspberry Pi is sat nicely in there. We've got the ports exposed and the battery is just there. I've also had to put some little holes in the bottom, so I think I need to add an additional one so we can charge the battery when we're actually using this as well. I've included a uh, space for the flap to go, kind of emulating the, uh, the cassette deck back in the day and I also need to have the top section on there as well. So you can see that it, it fits in quite nicely and it's also quite robust. It's just attached with a couple of screws on the back there. And these are not exactly true to, to form. I've got some headphones, I've got a little microphone and this can connect using USB to the Raspberry Pi. Every time. There we go. So this means I can then issue a command to Olama using a little Python script that I've written and I can then hear back the response that it, uh, it will speak back to me. And I've got my own little portable AI think man. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I shall see you next time. Bye for now.